first, you got to understand what grip did to you. Yep. Okay? Okay. Next step, we're going to hit a few balls here, and we're going to get you some really good face control. Okay. All right, so here's how a club face fits in your hand, right? So if I were to hold a club face, relax. All right, that's how a club face fits in your hand. So here's basically the game. We're holding this club face. Here's how the club face fits in my hand. It doesn't fit on an angle like this. It fits right here. Now, if I wanted this club to make the ball go lower than it's designed, I would have to take some of the angle off. So I do this to it. If I wanted it to go higher, if I wanted the ball to go to the left, I'd have to make the toe of the club get to the ball before the heel. If I made it go to the right, the heel would get there before the toe. Feel the face, you're looking at the ball on the ground. Yeah. That's gonna make it go lower. This is gonna make it go higher because it's gonna add loft. Yeah. This will make it go left, and this makes it go right. Okay. Put your thumb out, put your right hand on there. Okay, so if I said make the ball go lower, if I said make it go higher, if I said make it go to the right, if I said make it go to the left, see? So when you're looking down at that ball, this is what's playing the game. Basically, golf is nothing more than a skill development game. So initially, all we're trying to do is learn how to make the club face run into the ball on a path with the face in a position to make the ball go where we want it to go. Okay, low draw, high draw, you feel that? So every time you hit a ball, what you're focusing your attention on, when I swing, I don't feel the club. See, I don't feel this. You're holding a grip. I'm not holding a grip. I'm holding that face in my hands. When I'm holding the club, basically what I'm doing here, if I wanted the ball to go lower, I'd take loft off the face. If I wanted it to go higher, I would add loft to it. If I want it to curve to the left, I'd turn the face over. If I want it to go to the right, the heel would get there before the toe. But I'm feeling this club face in my hands, not the round grip. When you start to feel the club face in your hands, and your hands start to make the club face run into the ball, that's the first and most important skill. Your hands control the face. So I'm looking at that ball and I can feel the face here and I'm looking down at that ball and I'm saying, okay, where do I want this ball to go? Well, I want it to go out to the right and hook a little bit. So that means my path has to be a little from the inside and my face has to turn the club over. So there's a draw, there's a fade, there's a straight ball, there's a low. You feel that? Mm -hmm. So everything you're doing, every sport you've ever played, so you're too tight in your wrist, every sport you've ever played, you play the sport right here. Is your body involved? Yes, it is. But this becomes, this is what's controlling the face. This is what's making the ball go where it wants to go. This is where all the guys on tour are really good. They're really good with their hands. Almost every really good tour player is a good ping pong player. Well, what's, what's the relevance here? Well, it's called adjacency. Adjacency is how sports relate to each other. In golf, you have a club face. In table tennis, you have a racket. But it's all about imparting spin on a ball. So a top spin in ping pong is very similar to a draw in golf. A drop shot is more like a slice. And a flat shot is more straight. So being able to control the face of a ping pong paddle is the same thing you need to control the face of a golf club. So now I've got a paddle in both hands. So when it comes to the left hand, you have to also learn how to control the face because controlling the face with the left hand also works big time in the golf swing because both hands have to know how to control the face. You're not even thinking about your hands when you hit a shot. You're trying to make some part of your body do something, hoping that the face will show up. And here's, here's why, honestly. Because I know I'm a hands guy. I, yeah. I manipulate it. And so I would worry about my hands rolling it off the ball or shutting the face down. So then, you know, people would tell me, you're a hands guy, so you got to use your body more. 
So now I'm trying to neutralize my hands. Okay, there's no such thing as using your hands too much. It doesn't exist. So here's a concept you gotta get rid of, because what you're telling me, where we're going here, so you just made a statement that helps me understand why your swing's doing what it's doing. Yeah. You cannot use your hands too much. You can use them incorrectly, but there's not a chance in hell you can use them too much. So when they say quiet hands, the tour players take your hands out of the swing, yeah. that's, that's total ridiculous. What they're telling you is you want to feel and get your hands to work correctly relative to the face. If they do, they don't feel like they're doing much. So what, to tell you you're a handsy player, I'd go, well, I'm very handsy. Jack Nicklaus is handsy. They're all handsy. They just use their hands correctly and their body accommodates what their hands are telling. When you shoot a jump shot, are you thinking about your hips? No. Okay, what's telling you how to shoot the shot? You look at it, your hands are holding the ball. So your body adjusts to get in a position where you can shoot the ball. So when you're shooting a basketball, so you come from dribbling, now you're gonna shoot. When you shoot a basketball, this motion right here that you're learning, is this motion that you learn to throw. Because now you're throwing the basketball. Yeah, you're shooting it, but it's really throwing it. Every sport that hits or throws is based on this. Whether you're throwing a baseball or shooting a basketball, then how the ball comes off your fingers creates different types of spin. Golf, release, and then how your fingers or how your hand rotates the face along with the release of the club head is what makes the ball curve. So basketball, very similar to golf. So in this game, all your hands have to do is apply the club face to the ball correctly. That's it. Feel the face in your hands, make the club face, make the ball go to the right. Okay? Make the ball go low. You don't have to change the ball position. Use your hands to make the face work. Okay, fine. Okay, let me see if you can hit a low fade. Hit me another draw. Perfect.